again at the just underneath the five week out point. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit of what my typical day looks like right now. Uh, first thing in the morning, I'm up early um, into the gym for morning cardio, my first session of the day. It's 45 minutes interval training. Uh, followed by uh, come home, get meal one in. Uh, two hours later, it's meal two. Uh, 45 minutes after that, I'm back in the gym for weight training. Um, after weight training, back home, uh, three more meals, uh, two hours in between, and then I'm back at the gym again for cardio session number two, 45 minutes intervals right now, and then I'm back home, two more meals before I go to bed. So yeah, if I'm not eating or sleeping, I'm in the gym, and I'm in the gym a lot. And uh, it's, uh, it's contest season here in Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia Provincials are coming up, so getting to see a lot of, uh, a lot of faces you know, with the morning cardio and the nighttime cardio, some of them are, are the same people, so it's nice to have that camaraderie, uh, getting ready for the shows, and um, yeah, good to see some, uh, some, some young guys really pounding it in there, and uh, looking, uh, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll represent Nova Scotia well in the future. Um, so yeah, uh, back to my prep, um, you know, it's very, as I said, very dynamic, things are changing constantly, I get pictures off, pictures of Wade off to Hani every three days, he, if he doesn't see what he likes, he makes changes, so he, you know, he, he wants me ready as soon as possible, and um, it hasn't been a long diet, but it's becoming a hard diet, uh, I'm halfway there now. I've only been dieting for five weeks, so but uh, I'm pretty impressed with what's happened in the past five weeks. Training is uh, still hard and heavy, uh, keeping at it. Uh, low rep range, trying to keep that muscle fullness and roundness, uh, even with the lower <coughs> caloric intake and the increased cardio. Um, what else? Supplement end. On the, uh, on the supplement end, I'm doing uh, an enormous amount of age and M. Uh, two scoops first thing in the morning. Um, I'll, whenever I have a scoop of Agent M, I always pair it up with my glutamine as well. Uh, so two scoops first thing in the morning, two scoops after training, and two scoops before bed. Uh, also, we throw in two other scoops uh, intermittently through a couple other meals or in between a couple other meals. So 11,000 milligrams per scoop, that really adds up. You guys could do the math. So. Other, um, other supplements that are staple right now, of course the omegas, they're year round. Um, something different for me right now, I'm doing uh, a lot of the sub Q. Um, pretty heavy on the, uh, on the signaling end right now, so I try not to um, lean on FUBAR uh, quite as much uh, just for the, the really tough workouts. I'll throw it in there because I'm, I'm pretty jittery and with the lower calories, you know, there's no insulin surge or anything. It's going to help to, to regulate that, um, that anxiety. So, um, it, it, it's just, you know, push from this point on. You know, this is, uh, uh, this is the job that has to be done. I, I don't care if I feel terrible till the end. I don't care if, um, you know, like, uh, if you got to suffer to, uh, to look the way you have. I mean, so be it. I, uh, uh, I'm ready to feel this way and worse right till the end, and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. Um, that's, that's what this sport is about, pushing your body to, uh, to new levels, and, you know, uh, with a little bit of sacrifice, how are you ever going to get there? Um, so, yeah, I, I'll try to check in again um, next week. Um, I should be able to, uh, to get some more off to you. Let you know what's uh, what's new with the plan, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how things are going. Thanks for all the support out there, all the comments, and thanks for watching along. All the best, guys, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.